I can't wait for my next visit to Kenya to see how it continues to grow from strength to strength. Thank you. Next, Your Excellency, allow me to now invite uh, Her Excellency, uh, the Ambassador U.S. to Kenya, uh, Her Excellency Meg Whitman. To begin my coffee, to Fadali. Well, good morning, Mr. President. All protocols observed. I am so delighted to be here this morning. This has been a long time coming. Well, a long time in technology time. And uh, it is a really important event for Silicon Savannah. Silicon Savannah, Silicon Valley, all the tech hubs of the world, they are not places, they are state of mind. They are those connections that are made every day over coffee, in the park, the minds coming together to innovate. And I think AWS and Amazon is a crucial part of Silicon Valley, Silicon Savannah's growth and development. For those of you who don't know, I grew up with Amazon. Um, I remember when I became, became the CEO of eBay, we looked up one day and said, if we could ever be like Amazon, that would be amazing. And I want to tell you, this Amazon is one of the most important technology companies in Silicon Valley. It's one of the most important technology companies in the world. And the fact that they have chosen to put the development center for AWS in Nairobi speaks volumes about Kenya, speaks volumes about Nairobi, and speaks volumes about this administration. So congratulations to all of you. I want to tell you a little bit about innovation. There is two kinds of innovation in the world. There's what I call evolutionary innovation, which is people who every day make what already exists a little bit better, new and improved, a little bit better food, a little bit better consumer goods, a little bit better maps, a little bit better on everything that you do. Those people are very, very important because unless we keep getting better at the basics, we fall behind. But there is a very small number of people and companies who do what I call disruptive innovation. That's different than evolutionary innovation. Disruptive innovation are the people who build things that never existed before. Think about the airplane, the train, the car, the early development of uh, the IBM 3600 that began to power the technology age. If you think about the PC, you think about all these big changes in technology, often there is a small people who figure out how to do something that has never been done before. Amazon is one of the few companies that have figured out two things that were completely disruptive innovation. One was e-commerce. Amazon was the pioneer of e-commerce on the internet. And then the second thing that Amazon did was AWS. Before AWS, you had to build your own data center. You had to set up your own data center. You had to buy your own servers and storage and networking. Today, you just tap into AWS and other cloud service providers, and you're up and running. Let me tell you the difference this would have made at eBay. I joined eBay in 1998. We had to build our own data center. We had to figure out how to do that. And by the way, that took nine months to do. And by the way, we had some challenges doing it along the way. I remember going into the data center one day, and there were fans cooling the servers. Oops, big problem. In any case, today, if I was starting eBay, we would have tapped into AWS and we'd be up and running in two days. Nine months to two days. And that is what is so important here, is that AWS is an enabler of big companies, as you heard this morning. But more importantly, in many ways, they are an enabler of small tech companies. Because you no longer have to have a lot of capital to start your own company. You have, in fact, don't really need any capital at all. You can just tap into a cloud service provider, and you are up and running, ready to go. So I'm super excited about AWS being here. I think it will create a revolution um, among the small to medium-sized enterprises, which are those that always power the Silicon Valley or the Silicon Savannah. So congratulations. I am so pleased that you are here. Thank you to the president for continuing to create an enabling environment that allows companies like Amazon to come here. And let's, we can't leave without saying celebrate the engineers and the innovators. Thank you very much. Allow me to now call Governor for Nairobi County, His Excellency Johnson Sakaja. Welcome. Thank you very much, Mike. 
Um, allow me to also associate myself with the protocol already established. Your Excellency, the President.